Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As some of you might know, I had the pleasure of attending the masterclass with Makeup by Mario and Kim Kardashian this past weekend. It was such an incredible experience for me as a makeup artist because Mario has influenced my work significantly and his makeup looks has made a huge impact on my career and on my makeup style. In fact, one of the first tutorials that I have ever watched on YouTube was with him and Kim getting ready back in 2009. So he has always been there for me and he has always been a huge inspiration for me. I can imagine that a lot of you are wondering what it's like to attend his class. So in today's video, I want to share with you my first impressions, kind of walk you through the entire day discuss all the great side and all the little bit bad side, what I really like and what I didn't like. So yeah, let's get started. The class took place in PlayStation Theater at Times Square and was scheduled to begin at 11 a.m. with doors being opened at 10 a.m. I received two email notifications from Mario team about the agenda of the entire event uh, the day before the class and on the same day with kind of a few reminders what we should bring, what we shouldn't bring, what we can do, what we cannot do, the do's and don'ts. I got the general admission ticket, the cheapest one, because uh, the VIP tickets, which included a um, picture with Kim and Mario, a bigger goodie bag and also a separate um, entrance line, were sold out like super quick, way too fast, so that was the only ticket available. Knowing that the seating was first come first served, I arrived an hour and a half before the show and the line was very considerable at the time. But <laughs> lucky for me, the line behind me actually was growing a little bigger, so I was in a pretty sweet spot, I guess. What immediately struck me was how fabulous everyone in the line looked like. Everyone had the prettiest, cutest outfit, their makeup was on point and basically I was looking at those girls, <laughs> checking them out and I was like, girl, you're looking damn cute today. But after all, how many times do you get the chance to sit in the same room with Kim K? Another thing that struck me was that so many people traveled all the way around the world just to be on the masterclass. The girl next to me that I was chatting with, she traveled all the way from Australia and another girl traveled from Great Britain. And during the class you could actually hear people and talking, introducing themselves that they are from Saudi Arabia, they are from Kazakhstan, from Israel, from Brazil, from Ireland, like many many more from all over the world. They all came here to see Kim and Mario doing his magic on her. Okay, back to the line. <laughs> I can imagine that it's not easy and not quick to accommodate 1200 people attending the same event, but to be honest, in my opinion, the waiting time on the line was quite a bit too long. It literally took me three hours after I arrived to be seated in the theater and the class didn't start until 12.30 and it was originally scheduled for 11 a.m. So it was kind of long. Once the line started to move, it went pretty fast. Of course, we had to go through all the security checks. We weren't allowed to bring any food or drink, but we knew it would later be provided. So that was totally okay. And I didn't mind it at all because after all, Kim is one of the biggest stars. So it has to be safe. Uh, every attendee received upon entrance this cute little notepad with a pen to write all the notes so that was pretty cute and the sitting actually for general admission had a very good visibility so we had screens all over the room the venue so you could really see what mario was doing there was no problem with that now <laughs> to the more exciting part of the event which is when we met Mario and Kim. So Mario w was the first one to enter the scene and he introduced himself, he talked about Kim and how she transformed and shaped the beauty industry and how they need to work together and how she inspires him. And then shortly after that, you could uh, hear crowds screaming and Kim entered with her phone recording live for her Snapchat, the entrance. 
and you could only imagine <laughs> how wild it was. I actually managed to take um, a quick video for you to share it with you what it looked like since we weren't allowed to tape too much this is just very short but it kind of tells it all <laughs> Kim looked beautiful as always, even without her makeup on. <laughs> she was actually joking that she needs a face filter when doing the Snapchat story, <laughs> but no, she didn't need any. <laughs> and she was in excellent mood, she was very funny, very talkative, very friendly, even despite the fact that she actually had a cold that she got from Mario when he returned from his vacation. So she was kind of joking about the fact how he got her sick and that he should have worn a mask when doing a makeup on, but Mario said that actually it was the first time that he got her sick, so <laughs> it's all good. All stays in the family. Mario actually had a bad cough too, so from time to time, accidentally, he did cough to the mic during the class so it was kind of scary and funny at the same time because it was so loud as expected Kim spoke very highly of Mario and she said that he is actually the only person that sees her the way she sees herself and that the way he does the makeup on her is exactly how she wants to have her makeup done so that was kind of sweet the class started really well and very strong with Mario talking about the look that he's planning to do on Kim. It's the kind of soft look but still very glam, very cohesive look. So there is like no crazy transmission in between the lid and the upper crease. It kind of all has to flow seamlessly. There should be very, very nice and blurred edges. So it's kind of like one hole as opposed to doing a huge cut crease look. <laughs> in fact, he is quite a bit against what's happening in Instagram recently about those crazy makeup trends. He's just an advocate that makeup should make you look super soft, super feminine and beautiful. So and he said there is no celebrity in the world probably. Um, that would ask you to do a cut crease on her so it's kind of like an Instagram has a separate word on that he also mentioned that this look that he's going to create will last very long so he's gonna kind of teach us how to make it bulletproof and also that this look will take us very very high in our makeup career so the beginning his words were, were very strong then he started by moisturizing Kim's face and then he followed with her eyebrows. He was very detailed about every single step that comes with the eyebrows. So I was writing my notes really like crazy. I was taking my notes, writing everything down. And then things took a slightly different turn to my despair. Well, questions were allowed during the presentation, during the demonstration and mics were circulating everywhere and even though Mario stressed before the class began that the questions should focus on the exact application, the exact demonstration and that we shouldn't ask questions about lips if he's working on the eyes People <laughs> are people so, some of them, I would say most of them, began asking questions that were absolutely unrelated to whatever was happening on Kim's face. And by unrelated questions, I mean one person from the audience asked if her three-year-old daughter can start using makeup. Or another person asked if Kim were to choose which one of her sisters she would allow to do makeup of her, on her, who would be the person, who would be the sister, or how they both met, or if Mario expected that he's gonna end up doing celebrity work. So these are all the questions that you basically can search over the internet, you can research that. You don't need a masterclass to get answers to those questions. So I was kind of annoyed by them because Mario was 
doing her eyes, doing Kim's eyes, and he he didn't manage to talk about that exactly the process, the part of the process, because he had to answer all those questions that were totally unrelated. And he really tried to stop it. He really tried to say, guys, let's focus on on the exit application questions, but forget it. The questions kept coming, kept showering. So I kind of was bumped a little bit. So my eyes were literally like glued to the screen because I was trying to capture every single thing that he did, especially at the beginning where the excitement was so huge, just to make sure I get everything right. For me that was quite a bit annoying and I was annoyed <laughs> and I was probably one of the loudest people in the room screaming from the behind telling them please can we focus on demonstration related questions I was screaming it at least I guess 10 times or so, so <laughs> um, yeah that was it um, and I do understand that not all of the people who attended the event were makeup artists. I get that, but it wasn't a chit chat one-on-one -on -one meeting with Kim. It was a makeup masterclass. So you kind of have to respect that a little bit. <laughs> but nevertheless, he did eventually manage to get his top points across. So I was able to capture those. So I was happy at the end of the day. And I'm not going to go into the details today on exactly what he used on his makeup application process because I plan to do a separate video on that that's going to be more like a step-by-step -step makeup tutorial inspired by the look he did. But there are two main takeaways that I think were very helpful for me. So I want to share it with you now. Okay, so number one, it's all about building the look you really have to start very small very little and you build the look little by little i can stress enough how many times i saw mario picking up the brush putting on the eyeshadow tapping off the excess on his hand doing the smudging on his head and then going to kim like very little amount and then he kept repeating that over and over again. You don't wanna get all the eyeshadow in your eyes straight away. You just start very small and you keep building the look. And actually he, even though the look was very light, appeared very light, very natural, he did put a lot of products. He did, and that, that was really striking, but he did it little by little. So it kind of all blended together so nicely. M there was no muddiness that you can expect sometimes when you use too much makeup. It was just so flawless and that's like the key, that's the secret. You need to start very small and then you build your way up. The second tip is pressure is all when it comes to eyeshadow application. You really need to use soft pressure, soft moves everything like super gentle to be able to kind of achieve this beautiful super diffused look so the key is a little bit of product a little bit of pressure and then build and blend and build and blend and build and blend <laughs> the class ended after 5 p.m and those of us who had general admission tickets were asked to leave <laughs> and VIPs stayed because that was the time where they took those fabulous pictures with Kim and Mario so I wasn't lucky this time but hopefully next uh, but we did leave with a cute masterclass bag, the goodie bag filled with some cool products such as products from Anastasia Beverly Hills, from Benefit, from Laura Mercier, which was one of the biggest sponsors of the event. And of course, the contouring kit from KKW Beauty, which is obviously Kim Kardashian's new makeup line. So I would say that the entire goodie bag was worth way over like 100, if not 200. So if you paid for the ticket, $500 you kind of get your value back with this bag if you're a makeup junkie like me or a makeup artist so that was kind of 
spectacular. So when I was sharing a picture from the class on my Instagram, I asked you if you have any specific questions about the class, if there's anything you want me to answer, and some of you asked me, what was the kim like? What was the kim like? So, as I mentioned before, at the very beginning, she was actually very, very sweet and very kind and very patient. Even with all those questions that were happening out of the blue, she was very willing to answer them all. She wasn't showing any sort of attitude at all. So that was very, very nice of her and she was very patient. You could hear Mario sometimes getting a little bit irritated, especially if someone asked the question that was already asked three times. But Kim was so chill. <laughs> and what I really liked is that she didn't use her phone. And I know it was tempting to her, she mentioned that. She sat still for five hours and allowed Mario to do makeup on her. And she was so focused and she was very present. So that was very nice. And another question that I got from one of you was what I enjoyed the most about this makeup class. And I think that the best part of this class was that I was lucky enough to be part of this community, of this beauty makeup junkie community that all came together, all traveled around the world to basically be part of it. And being basically able to see Mario doing all his magic of Kim was just so incredible and I'm never gonna forget that. Overall, it was an incredible experience and if I could attend it again, I would attend it a million times. However, I do think that the questions during the demonstration shouldn't be allowed or no one should be allowed asking questions that are not related and I think we would benefit even more if those questions were exactly very specific and I would really love to attend one of uh, Mario's master classes without Kim actually because they tend to be on a little bit smaller side they tend to be more intimate so I would suspect that you would get more out of it makeup wise so if you are wondering if Mario is doing a makeup class somewhere where you live and but without Kim and you're wondering if it's worth the spend I would say it is and you should definitely try attending it if you are a makeup professional if you are a makeup artist it's you just have to learn from the very best and he's definitely one of the best of the best Okay, so that would be it from me today and I hope you enjoy watching this video and listening to my experience. I reviewed my notes and I'm about to order some of the products that Mario used on Kim um, and I'm gonna be preparing for my tutorial on that. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I see you in my next video. Bye! Um, I, I... The class ended after Five fish, section. <laughs> Gonna be bulletproof, and I'm talking the same thing.